All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the CBSN Minnesota Morning Update. It is Thursday. It is the 5th of August. We're glad to have you with us today. Hope you're feeling good, ready to make this a great one. We're going to get you started with the latest news and weather. We start with the Twin Cities forecast. Bit humid today. Yeah, we had the windows open yesterday. I thought it was pretty nice out. Uh, we had a rain, a line of rain go through. And the line, as soon as it got the Twin Cities, fell apart. So I used my windshield wiper once. <laughs> that was it. A couple of drops around 3.30 this morning. Should be up to about 84 today. Again, humid this afternoon. A chance for some pop-up storms tonight. But we've seen how that's gone. Uh, hot tomorrow, kind of entering a humid phase over the next four or five days. So be ready for that. Temperatures, eh, all the same as they've been. Upper to mid 80s. Let's talk about this. Spirit Airlines entering a fifth straight day of cancellations and delays. And all of you who have status on Delta are saying, eh, told you, told you, really? You're flying these low cost airlines? 350 flights today canceled. Six at Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. More than 1,300 have been canceled since Sunday. What is really going on here, right? Spirit apologized yesterday. He said, look, this is awful. We're really sorry. Uh, they said part of this is weather. <laughs> okay. Somehow every other airline is managing to operate, but the weather is really messing with spirit. They said some of it is system outages and perhaps more believably staffing shortages is the main uh, issue. Spirit's fares... Look, I've been tempted by Spirit. I've flown Spirit before. I've flown low-cost airlines. Sun Country is now a low-cost airline. Uh, Frontier. There is kind of a bargain you make when you fly one of these guys. And that bargain is you don't really know if you're going to fly. So here's our question for you today. It's about low-cost airlines. Have you flown, flown Spirit? Have you flown one of these other kind of super budget airlines? How did it go? Maybe you loved it. Maybe you're willing to take the trade off. How much does the cost of the ticket matter to you? Enjoy the word canceled, because that may be in your future. We'll share your comments coming up in a minute. COVID cases are expected to surge over the next two weeks thanks to the easily transmissible Delta variant. Two thirds of Minnesota now considered a higher substantial risk. Here's the map, it's sort of I don't know how helpful this is, but when you see the red and the orange, that means bad. So most of the state is covered in that. College of St. Benedict and St. John's University requiring all students and staff to be vaccinated before returning to campus. CDC saying that teenagers and kids right now are accounting for one in five new cases. And pediatricians are saying they think kids are more susceptible to the variant. There's a huge number of the children and youth who will be going to school K through 12 who are not protected and they're depending on the people around them, hopefully not having it or passing it on. Doctors say they don't expect a vaccine for kids under 12 to be available until, well, approval Labor Day at the earliest. So fall or winter is what we're looking at. In the meantime, they recommend the kids wear masks, practice social distancing and always remember to wash your hands and brush your teeth and don't forget to floss. We are learning more college students will have to mask up on campus again. Augsburg University, St. Cloud State, both requiring everybody to wear masks inside, regardless of vaccination status. We already heard the U of M uh, mandating that at all of their campuses. Labor market is competitive right now and recruiting new workers is tough. Target says, what if we pay for your college? Debt free is the goal. Now, this isn't, you know, carte blanche. You can use this anywhere. I think there are about 40 colleges that are a part of this. More than 340,000 full and part-time workers are eligible. Boy, if you, were, if you were 17 or 18 looking for a job, wouldn't you go to Target? Wouldn't mom and dad say, like, hey, is... Uh, one of these other jobs paying for your college. Retail Giant will cover all costs for a bachelor or associate's degree program, including some of the out-of-pocket stuff like textbooks. Target spending $200 million on this program over the next four years. They say the goal is to eliminate student debt for employees. U.S. Bank is telling downtown Minneapolis employees, nope, you're not coming back yet. Uh, as someone who would love to see downtown Minneapolis come back, 
you get the sense that this is the first of a number of these we're going to hear. U.S. Bank has 5,000 downtown Minneapolis employees who are supposed to come back after Labor Day, September 7th. But with Delta variant on the rise, bank officials say, no, nope, they're going to wait. They hope to return before the end of the year. Not great. Uh, Kirk Cousins. I have been tempted to make Kirk Cousins our discussion topic every day, the Vikings quarterback. He is not vaccinated, which we are inferring based on the fact that he has been uh, deemed a high-risk close contact. And the only way you would be that is if you were not vaccinated and you came in contact with someone who tested positive. Kirk is coming back to practice today. He's been quarantined and out almost a week ago because another quarterback tested positive, and that's the NFL rules. So, I mean, this is, the, the, this is your quarterback. This is the highest paid guy on the team, right? Uh, the coach has been ticked. So uh, Cousins has to test every day before practicing. He's always tested negative. 10 to 12 players on the Vikings who don't have shots. Washington Post reporting that's the most for one team in the entire league. You understand, like, people make their decisions. Um, but for these players, they're risking considerable money uh, and the team if the games are canceled. And it's not just the Vikings. It's all the businesses around it. So we'll see if any of that changes. Kirk Cousins will for sure be asked questions about it today. It is an exciting morning if you're a country music fan. One year of no Wii Fest, and it's back in action, opening really today in Detroit Lakes. Florida Georgia Line tonight. That's a pretty good headliner. Dirk Bentley, Blake Shelton. Come on. How about that? We Fest was canceled last year because of COVID-19, of course. But back in action today. Hopefully everything goes well over there. Another Minnesota company is celebrating 100 years in business. I mean, it's the trumpet for me. So Lando Lakes, great company, terrific employer. It's a co-op. So many farmers are part of the co-op. And Lando Lakes unveiled this new sculpture at the headquarters in Arden Hills, right off of 694 there. It's called Rooted in Tomorrow, meant to celebrate the future of the farmer-owned agricultural cooperative. Let's see that unveiling one more time. <laughs> The artist, Deb Zeller, it's really beautiful. She did a heck of a job. She is from Hopkins, and she's the granddaughter of a former Lando Lakes co-op member. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, good job, Lando Lakes. Uh, 100 years. Lots have changed in uh, the food business, and they keep chugging along. Nice work there. Let's see what you're saying about our talker today, which is low-cost airlines. Katie Butters has flown once on Spirit Airlines. The fare was cheap. Not sure I'd fly with them again, though. Thanks, Katie. Here's Dapper Storm. Dapper Storm should be our new chief meteorologist now with the WCCO weather forecast. Here's Dapper Storm. Uh, flown Spirit a number of times. It's been underwhelming. Flight delays absolutely the norm with this company. Thanks, Dapper. Simon. Flown them one time. They literally do not have any customer service. Feels like you're flying in a tin can. But the planes look cool. I feel for the people who work there, right? You're like, they're understaffed, obviously, and everyone's annoyed. Thanks, Simon. We, de we debate this all the time, you know? Christina, flown Spirit many times prior to COVID and having a kid with no issues. Now fly Delta or American to be safer. You know, we have, we as consumers have turned airline flying into a commodity. So we go to these search engines and you pick the lowest fare, even if it's a, only a couple bucks lower. And I think uh, now in an era of uh, tight staff, not enough employees, might be worth paying more. It's hard. I don't know. I have a family of four. Paying 200 bucks more a ticket for one ticket is no big deal. Times four, you're looking at 800 bucks. So got to weigh all of that. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you hanging out with us here on the Morning Update. Uh, no charge, as always. We are the lowest budget, lowest cost news update probably in the country. And you're welcome. You get what you pay for here. That is for dang sure. 
We'll see you again tomorrow.